Hey, how's it going? So today we're gonna do basically a really quick look at the new Permobile Power platform. What they've done basically is take all of the electronics on the chair, kind of redesigned everything a little bit, integrated a bunch of the components together and some of the modules and made them sort of all in one. Apparently they went from 14 different components on the chair, I think that includes actuators and joystick and all the modules, down to seven. And they've finally fully integrated the ICS or seating control system into the main controller on the chair. So no longer do we have the issues with trying to change settings and strange incompatibilities between two different networks that are running on the chair. Everything's finally all in one spot. And by the way, if you're hearing that noise, there's a, there's a fountain right there. This isn't gonna be super in depth and not a super long video. Um, there's some factors and things going on. Apparently everything here's on fire again and it's like 100 degrees outside. So anyways, I was at the, uh, the VA games at the convention center yesterday and Permobile was there, had one of the chairs and they let me take a look at it and you know, kind of answered a few questions and whatnot. So anyways, here's some footage from that. Hopefully you enjoy. So as far as the power base goes on these things, they've removed the ICS seating controller from the front and it's now integrated in a module in the back of the chair. But basically, it eliminates some of the wiring and then there's a high-speed RNET connection that has six pins instead of four. The connector looks pretty similar. Um, unclear if there was backwards compatibility or not, but right now the only way these things can be programmed is through the Bluetooth app that they have on phones. Uh, supposedly they're going to be coming out with a dongle that you can plug into these, but right now the new power platform cannot be programmed with a dongle. But it did free up some space in the front cover and everything is now integrated into one module in the back. So it's nice to have the entire system finally fully integrated. Especially on the standing chairs previously, they were running out of... Uh, well, they're basically pushing the system to its limits with the amount of stuff they could do because the ICA system has always been spoofing and RNET seating controller. And there's some inherent incompatibilities with that. So it's nice to have everything all in one module now. It's all built into the main controller in the back. So it will be interesting to see. Um, right now, their standing chairs have the new power platform. Then supposedly near the end of this year, they're gonna start pushing the new power platform into the F-series chairs, the non-standing ones. And then later on at some point, um, it'll be on the rest of them. So kind of a slow rollout, but Cool to see some actual changes in the control systems. And on the back covers now, these finally do not require screws. Uh, they basically, I'm not gonna do it because the chair's in the standing position, but these basically just pop right off. There's not the issue of the screws uh, that you know break on those over time or whatnot. Okay, so a little bit closer of a look here. Um, basically the ICS is now gone and it, everything is integrated into this main controller. So we have our motor connectors right here that go out to the motors on each side. Uh, those things come out here, go over to the drive motors. And then the connect module is now integrated as well. This is the antenna for that. But apparently they've switched over to sort of a high-speed RNET cable that is a six pin. And they just have the one wire that basically runs up to the top. The high speed orange on the left side? Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, I see the two extra pins there in the middle. Yeah. Gotcha. All of our actuators and everything. These are the actuator connectors over here? Okay. So that replaces our old master module. Yeah, it's, it's nice to see all of that finally integrated into one control system and not have to you know, cross back and forth and do everything. Um, so, okay, so this here probably goes up to the seating buttons. The ICS there, gotcha. So that's still using the same communication protocol. Oh, there we go. Yeah, now we can see it there. So we have the one main cable that comes up here. And then, and then that breaks out into, yeah. It breaks out into an RNET and then also ICS. Ah, okay. 
There we go. So that's... Six pin instead of four. And they'll be orange so you can tell. Okay. Yeah, and there's a little key on there so you can't yeah. plug them in. Um, is it still, I don't know why there would be a reason to, but is it still possible to plug in, like, are they backwards compatible with the other Arnett if they had to run, like, an Omni or other stuff like that? Dave? So you'll need the, uh, you'll need the new electronics. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I would assume it'd be backwards compatible just, you know, for alternative controls and stuff like that. Um, yes, yeah, so we got the other ICS connections there. Yeah, no screws that hold this back cover on now. It just right. pops yeah, right off. And lift it up and pop it back. Gotcha. Yeah, that, that makes it a lot nicer. Those screws and stuff used to break and are kind of hard to get lined up right. when people start getting in there quite often. Um, yeah, so all simplified into one module. It's interesting there's no cooling fins on it. Um, I assume there's enough thermal mass here to dissipate heat. Um, it's a lot larger overall. Although realistically, the old modules didn't really have that much in the way of cooling fins anyways, and they're fine. Cool. Yeah, and then up front here, no more ICS box. No more master module. Yeah. The master module is what you guys call it? Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, so more room for activities up there now. Um, everything else is pretty much the same. And this is the MVS, which yes, is standard. slightly Mid different. Mid-wheel drive. Mid drive. Mid drive standard. Okay. And it is... Longer swing arm for stability. Okay, longer swing arms. Yeah, so it's more like the M5. Oh, and then you have the sort of the flex link sort of yeah, arrangement down here. Oh, and that is... It yep. doesn't lock out when we elevate or uh, stand, so you still have suspension. But yeah. We, we increase the uh, swing arm in the front. It's more like a... M5. <laughs> yeah, Dave was saying, I guess when you elevate it, sort of rocks it yep. forward a little bit and locks it out that way. Or not locks it out, but gives it more stability. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. And save and drive motors they've been using forever, yes. pretty much. Okay. Try and true. Yeah, for sure. No, and I've noticed the difference between from about 2021 and up. Um, the same size motors seem to have a lot more torque um, than the older ones did, um, which is always a welcome improvement. I thought I was going to have to get a 5 Series to run on carpet, but then I got this one and it was fine. Uh, my 2017 F3 would not work on carpet. <laughs> but yeah, whatever it changed on the new motors, it's um, working really well. Yeah, so that's interesting to see. That's sort of like flex link, but a little different. It looks like there's a couple extra, an extra connecting bar down there. Interesting. Oh yeah, and then here's our antenna connections right here. Uh, is it Wi-Fi also? Wi-Fi and cellular? Okay. As far as the updates go, do you have to... Do you have to accept that, or will it just? Can you set it up to do it overnight on its own? You set it up to do it overnight on its own. It needs to be plugged into a charger and on Wi-Fi. Okay, gotcha. Is there an option to disable that in case you want to do it manually? Yeah. Do you know? That would be not. Bad. I know we're still not to version one yet, so yeah. it might <laughs> add in later. <laughs> cool. Um, yeah, everything else here looks pretty much the same, but yeah, it's really cool to see it all integrated into one yeah, module. We'll be Fourteen components <laughs> to seven. Yeah. And, you know, that weird connection between the ICS and the RNET and not really being compatible, but kind of, made things a little bit tricky for sure. Um, but yeah, cool. Yeah, I just want to get a slightly closer look at this before they head out for the night, but yeah, awesome. Anyways, I think that kind of sums everything up for now. Um, hopefully it was uh, interesting to look into the new systems and whatnot. They are slowly rolling them out, however, and it's going to be... Uh, probably next year later on before most of the chairs, from my understanding, start having this new control system. The, the control system they're calling the power platform. It's sort of an all-in-one thing. And I don't think they're going to be able to retrofit older chairs. I don't know if that's something they're going to offer. So anyways, there you go. Um, see you guys on the live stream tomorrow.